Let us see how you can send messages via API. Go to Waba. Click on the view icon. So you will be able to see all the templates. Now let us go to Postman. The request type will be post and we will be sending a test template message. So the destination URL will be domain slash v1 slash messages. Let us paste it here. Now from where will you get the domain variable? Because of load balancing, your URL might be different. So click on this copy icon here and get your domain from here. Let us replace it from here. So in the end, it is v1 backslash messages additional to the domain. Next in the header, we have API key. So let us go to header, add API key. You can get your API key from here. The body type will be raw and JSON. Now Meta has a different JSON payload for each template depending upon the variables. Let us test with one or two variables. So in this case, there is no variable at all in the template message. You can click, click on this inverted bracket, curly brackets icon. You will get the JSON for this particular template and you can paste that payload here. Replace the receiver with the WhatsApp number and send the message now whenever you send a message as this message did not have any variable at all so you didn't add anything in the components and whenever you send a message you'll get a message id you can store this message id in your database so that you can record the sent delivered failed timestamp using this message id meta sends that data in a webhook which you can set here of your own server now let us set a webhook and then send a template message with some variables and some media file if you want to get all the inbound data that the whatsapp number receives from meta you need to select the type of the webhook as inbound and then click on add webhook now let us send another template message which has a media header with two variables and even it has a link with the variable so when you create a template with link variable and i'll just quickly show how it works so if you're creating a template with a link variable or a dynamic URL, you enter your main URL here and then in the example, you will enter your full URL with the variable text and in the API call, you will only supply the variable text. The main URL will be picked up by WhatsApp directly. So. Let us take this media uh, header template with one image header, two variables and one variable button. Let us click on this curly brackets to get the entire payload and pasting it here. Now the very first thing is I am replacing the mobile number with the actual mobile number with country code without any plus sign. So it is country code with mobile number. Now by default our system will automatically add variable text to word wherever you need to enter a variable. Now this particular template has an image header. Let us not you know, change anything in the template and trigger a test call. Now you will see that it is saying the image link is not a valid URL. So you need to enter a direct media URL here. So. For test purposes, I'll simply take this 
and add here. Now in the body there are two variables. You need not to send the entire message in the body. You just have to supply the variables that is one and two. So here I am entering name and here I am entering a number based on the content. You cannot have next lines in a variable as per meta but there is no content restriction here uh, if you do not add any next lines the total body length can be 1024 characters including your fixed text as well as your variables text so the total limit is 1024 characters and you cannot enter next lines in variables then the button variable i am entering a simple end part of the url and not the entire url and sending the message now as soon as i have sent the message i have received a message id now let us see what do we get in the webhook so we are getting that this message type is marketing first the message has been sent with the particular timestamp then the message has been delivered now if the user will read it then you'll also get a read webhook here. Now, as soon as I read it in my mobile, you can see that I have received a read webhook. So you need to map it. You need to store this data in your own server. We do not store any information or statistical data for the messages that you send via API. And you need to record this real time in your server. Once your testing of webhooks has been done, you can delete the webhook and add the actual webhook. So this is how you can send messages via API. Thank you.